Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to sort ARIA op primitives using arrays.sort method and we are going to see how to sort an ARIA op string objects using arrays.sort method and we are going to see how to sort an ARIA op employee object using arrays.sort method with comparable interface. Alright, let's quickly see an example of each of them. So first we will see how to sort ARIA op primitives using arrays.sort method. So for that I am going to quickly create ARIA op integer I am going to call it as my array and let's initialize this integer array with few elements like 10 30 20 50 and 40 okay so let's go ahead and let's sort this array of integer using arrays dot sort method before that let's print this array to the console before sorting and here I am going to call arrays dot to string method to print array to the console okay and then now we are going to call arrays dot sort method so there are many overloaded sort methods you need to call appropriate sort method based on the method argument for example in our case we are calling sort it needs array of integer alright and after sorting an integer array we need to print array to the console alright let's run this program and let us see the outputs look at here before sorting this is the integer array and after sorting this is the integer array 10 20 30 40 50 ok now let us see how to sort array of string objects using arrays dot sort method so we will see how to sort array of string objects in ascending order as well as descending order so here what i will do i will create an string array here i am going to call it as string array like this and let's initialize this string array with few elements b d a c and e all right now what we'll do we'll print this array before sorting before sorting all right and again we are going to use arrays dot to string method so this will print array as a string to the console now let's use arrays dot sort method so again as i mentioned there are many overloaded sort methods we need to use appropriate method for example in order to sort a byte array we need to use this method in order to sort a char array we need to use this method likewise here we are sorting a string array we need to this method okay now once we sort a string array then just we will print to the console like this after sorting now let's go and let's run the program and let us see the outputs look at here before sorting this is the string array and after sorting this is the string array now what we will do we will sort array of string objects in descending order for that what we need to do is we need to pass a second parameter to the sort method here this is the first parameter and we are going to pass a second parameter as comparator dot a reverse order okay so this will sort an array that is string array in a descending order so let me run the program look at here the output so this is the actual array and after sorting the string array in descending order this is the result okay so this is how we sort a string array in ascending order as well as descending order now suppose that we have an array of custom objects of type employee we want to sort all employees in an array by their salary field in ascending order. To do that, what we need to do is we create the employer class which implements comparable interface and we need to override compare to method. So let us see how to do that. Let's create a class employee. Alright. And let's quickly create few fields like private int id private string name and private
weight integer salary all right now let's go ahead and let's quickly create a getter setter methods to access these private fields and let's also create a you know parameterized constructor right click source and generate parameterized constructor and also create a two string method right click source and generate two string select all fields and generate great now we have an employee class now we what we need to do is we need to implement a comparable interface right so the reason is that arrays dot sort method requires an object type to implement comparable interface so that array can be sorted according to the natural ordering ordering of its elements the natural ordering is defined by implementation of compare to method which determines how the current object to be compared to another object of the same type for example let's quickly implement a comparable interface and here we need to pass a employee type and let's override compare to method all right and here we need to provide the logic this dot salary object dot salary all right now this will sort a you know employee array in a ascending order okay great now let's go ahead and let's create an employee array let's create an employee array with few elements so look at here this is the employee array with four elements uh ramesh tom john tony so these are the four employees in a employee array now let's go ahead and let's sort this employee by their salary in ascending order for that so before that what we need to do is we need to just print this array to the console before sorting let's print this employee array to the console and now we are going to call arrays dot sort method so look at here there are many overloaded sort methods we need to call a, a appropriate method right and this is the sort method we are going to call and we are going to pass the employees now what we will do after sorting employee array we print to the console like this let's go ahead and let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here the employee with salary 30,000 comes first and then employee with salary 50,000 60,000 and then 80,000 all right so this is how we sort a employee array by employee salary in ascending order all right now let us consider the scenario if employee object employee class does not implement a comparable interface then what is the result let's go ahead and let's run the program and let us see how it throws the exception so look at here it throws class cost exception okay so we have to implement a comparable interface and we need to provide a you know a implementation for compared to method of comparable interface now we have seen how to sort employee array in ascending order right ascending order now let us see how to sort employee array in a descending order okay so for that what we need to do is go to the employee class and the employee class implements comparable interface and it provides implementation for compare to method right so here what we need to do is we just swap the uh, reference here so here i instead of this i am going to call object dot salary and here i am going to just provide this dot salary okay now this will sort a employee array in a descending order so for that what we will do we will just copy this as it is okay let me comment on this code and this will sort employee array in descending order so let's go ahead and let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here the employee with a higher salary comes first 80,000, 60,000, 50,000 and then 30,000 so this is how we sort a employee array in a descending order 
so remember this logic this might be the question in interviews like how to sort array which has a custom objects in ascending order and descending order so you need to answer like class would implement comparable interface and we need to override a computer method and we need to provide a logic here all right i hope you understood what we have done so far we have seen how to sort array of primitives using arrays.sort method we have seen how to sort array of string objects using arrays.sort method and we have seen how to sort array of string objects in ascending and descending order and we have seen how to sort array of employee objects in ascending order and descending order using arrays.sort method with comparable interface all right i hope this you find this video useful thanks for watching i will see you in the next video